Hey guys, my name is Tim Demon Andrew and I'm a data analyst for UBSearch. So for today's session, I'm going to show you how to connect your Power BI to your Azure Data Lake Gen 2. So no further ado, let's start. So first thing to go to my Azure portal. So I'll go to my Azure portal, which is over here. So these are the various recent resources I just did. The recent resources I just did. And as you can buy. So then to going to go to my Azure Data Lake. Which is over here. So for your for you to create your Azure data lake, it's almost the same process as you're creating your Azure block storage. Just a little bit of tweaking and some minor changes. So then to then to search for the endpoints, I'll be needing the endpoints because I need to connect through the endpoints. I'll search for the endpoints over here. I'll look for my Azure data lake storage, which is over here. So I'll copy this and I'll add to my Power BI. I'll go to my get data. So from your get data, I'll go to more. So now that this has opened, you go to, you search for Azure. So it's going to give all the Azure resources in your Power BI. So you can say I have my Azure SQL data, I have my Azure Synapse Analytics and the rest. But I'm looking for Azure Data Lake Gen 2. So I have the Gen 1, also I have the Gen 2. So I'm using Gen 2. Um, I'll click on Connect, okay? It'll take a little bit of minutes. So it has connected. So it's asking for the URL. That was the URL I copied for the, from the endpoint the other time. So I'll paste it inside here. So you can you can do you can view the data in two ways. You can do data view either by file system view, also by CMD folder view. This is actually a beta version, so it's still under development, but it's also awesome. So you can click on OK. Data lake, right? So this time around, I will search for key. So I look for key. You can see access key over here. Click on access key. Now you can see the access key. I can just click on show, copy. Right back here because it's still under my storage name, right? So I'll go back to my my Power BI. I'll paste the access key inside here. I'll click on connect, and voila, so it's disconnected. So now I can see why is it showing me this? I basically have four different files in my Azure Data Lake. So I'll just click on transform. So I want to just transform. I'll go through the Power Query Editor environment. So I'll these four binary files, right? So what's what actually happened is, let me go show you my Azure portal, right? So if I go back to my storage, my browser storage, I go to my blog container, I see my raw file. So you can see I have two folders, right? You see two folders now. So I have the ECDC folder, which is the uh, different folders. I also have, if I go back, I also have the population folder. So but for this, I want to use the population folder. Because this one is a text file. The other, the other ones are um, CSV, that's comma separated values. So I'll go back here. So I can just remove the first three rows. I'll go to remove rows, top rows. So I want to remove the first three rows. I'll click on OK. Right, so this, I can also expand it by clicking on this button over here. Right, so this is just to expand it further. So I can click on the binary, if anyone you prefer using. Awesome. Now you can see now this has opened, right? So you can see this just will give you a preview of the data. I can see the um the delimiter is a tab that's tab separated, the file origin, the data type. So I just click on OK, right? So it's going to do some data transformation step for me. Voila. So what I need to do now is very, very easy. So you just show me population by countries in different year time. So what I just need to do, right? I will make the first rule as my header. So I can say use first rule as header. Awesome. You can see you're showing me the um, data type. That's the source data. I don't need this. I know everything is a text file, right? That's a tab separator. I can just delete this column over here. So this is all of this, right? You can also um, pivot this, right? You can also select 20, 2008, and I'll go to the last one, which is 2019. Right click on pivot column. I can name this as yes. Yes, and let's say population value. And can we name the query as population? And I can just do what close and apply. And that's all. Let's see what it is. So I'll just come back here again. So it's loading. Awesome. So it has loaded, right? So if I come here now, I can check the data. I can go to the data tab over here. I can just check the data here. You can see now. Well, I have the um, so I have the geography 
time of the year and also the population values, right? So I think that's all. I hope you guys learned a lot. This video was about your business. Bye and have fun, guys.